This week on Fishette, John reveals how to put more walleye on ice by choosing spoons and jig strokes that match the mood of the fish and conditions at hand. grabbed it as soon as I jiggled it. You know, I got him to come up a little bit and I thought, well, he'll hit it eventually if I just hold it still. A lot of times that'll be a, the perfect trigger, just holding it still. But he just came up and looked at it and I suppose it's just, you know, that, that first bite of the morning, that first, you know, ooh, that feels like a good fish. Ooh, we're at the bottom of the ice, come here. Ooh, come on, get turned. There we go, got him up there. Oh. Look at that, awesome walleye. Look at that fish, what a way to start. That is awesome right there, man. That was close to a problem at the bottom of the hole. This guy was just big enough to get turned sideways on me. But I suppose what happened with this fish is when I held it still there and gave him that chance to hit that glow spoon, he wouldn't touch it. It was funny, he came up and he sat there just staring at it horizontally. And you know, I finally just said, Let's just jiggle it. And that's where I just banged it around. And when I banged it around, all of a sudden it was just thunk. He just grabbed it. It wasn't a whack. He didn't fly up at it. I just did this right in front of his face and it just made him grab it. And all of a sudden the weight was there. It just goes to show you that sometimes just playing with your cadence, playing with the, what you're doing with that bait down there can change something and trigger a strike. That's a great walleye to start your day. Come on. There he is right there, got him. Same thing. You know what, this feels like another good fish. Another one of those. Same deals though. Come in, look at it. <laughs> Just almost no aggressiveness at all. Just came in, looked at it, and as soon as I jiggled it again, boom, he bit it. A couple reasons though that those fish will do that. This feels like another really good fish. We've got to be close. There he is, right there. Yep, another great eye. Oh, jeez, look at that. Oh, look at that. You want to talk about luck? Let me get my hand off of this spine fin. Holy smokes. Got lucky there. That glow spoon popped out right at the hole. What an awesome walleye, I suppose. 18 inch or big fat fish. Look at that. Man, I thought he was bigger than that coming up. They're just so strong at this time of the year. They're just big and thick and that's just awesome but here's what is probably going on down there these fish whoa come here buddy we'll get you out of here these fish are coming in and they're just looking i think they're finding it because of the glow i think they're finding it because of the action but i think when i bang it around like that i engage those rattles right in front of them and that's a big deal i do that a lot of times when I've got fish looking, I just take that rod and I, I can do this while it's going down to show you. I just start snapping it like that and snapping it around is making that lure bounce around down there. And specifically with this glow spoon, it's just dancing down there, but the rattle's starting to bang around. And I think that might be the trigger. It's, it's one of those things. And you know what? It doesn't much matter to me as long as I've got a feeling for what it is, but cadence Jigging cadence and, and different things like that can make such a difference because I'll tell you what, I had a few fish come and go earlier that now I'm starting to think they might have been good walleyes and I just didn't get aggressive enough with some of the things I was doing to try to talk them into bite. There he is right there. Ooh, that feels like a good fish. Yep, that's another good one. Man, I'll tell you. It is not a numbers game today, but every time I have actually had the opportunity to set the hook, it's been something good at the other end. <laughs> it's, uh, and you know, I mean, every now and then you get into that, oh yeah, nice walleye, look at this one. Come here, come here. Ooh, settle down here. Look at that. Look at that. What an awesome fish. Every time I have set the hook today, it's been on a good fish. You know, I've, 
I have not had a bunch of little fish biting today. It's just been one of them days where as they come in, the good ones seem willing. It, it takes time, but you look at a lot of fish to get to a fish that's willing to bite. But the willing, the willing biters seem to be the better fish. Let me get this thing unhooked here and we'll get this fish let go. And then let me show you what I'm using. Man, what an awesome walleye. We'll take that. That's awesome. If, if that's the way today's gonna be, and I'm not gonna catch any more than one out of every 20 fish that I see on the screen, I'll take it if that's what they're gonna be right there because it's just been quality fish one after another as I do get bit. Nice fish. Get out of here, buddy. Here he goes. I'll show you what I'm using. You've heard me talk a lot about this bait over the last couple of years. We'll get a new minnow head. This bait, in my opinion, is just one of the best baits you can put down there. I've caught more big fish and probably more numbers on this Lindy Glow Spoon than I have any other bait that I've fished over the years when I add it all up. This, this spoon really just does it all. It makes it so, number one, the fish can find it because of the glow. When you put the glow stick in the back of that spoon, it illuminates the entire spoon because the spoon's made out of an ABS material. It's actually like a plastic, like your crankbaits. And then it's got tungsten beads down in the bottom. Well, those tungsten beads act as a weight to get it down and they act as your rattles. So they're twofold. But what you do with this spoon is you're able to make it so that fish can not only find it because of the glow down there, but it's got a little bit of a dimple in the front end of it too, and that allows it to swim. So you get all the attributes of a lead spoon, but now you're shining light through it. You can make it swim and it's got rattles. And, and I'll tell you what, when you're in a scenario, maybe, maybe a lot like today, where you just aren't getting numbers of fish that are aggressive and you're trying to just get those right bites, trying to make it so that the biters will find you, man, I'll tell you what, this glow spoon is just deadly. It comes in three different sizes. You get it in 16th, 8th, and quarter. 16th is great for your crappies. It's, it's good for your walleyes as well, but man, I'll tell you what, it's a great crappie and perch spoon as well. And then the 8th and the quarter getting you into your walleyes and your, your bigger species. But I'll tell you what, just a just a deadly spoon, whole variety of colors, and it's one color light stick. That's the other thing. When you get a pack of light sticks, you crack that stick, you put it in the back of the spoon, and it's going to shine through the color of the spoon. So you don't got to worry about buying a different variety of colors of light sticks. There's only one color of light stick, but you can illuminate all these different spoons with that one color of light. Yes. Look at that, he is there. He was up on it and I just lifted. It was almost like he lifted the bait up. All of a sudden, everything just got light down there and I think he actually grabbed it and lifted the bait up and I didn't recognize what was happening there. Oh, good eye. I didn't realize what was happening there until I actually lifted up and this fish, he, I think, turned to go back down. What an awesome fish, look at that. Just nailed it. I just switched to that, that brighter yellow chartreuse, orange tiger. Look at that. That is awesome. What a fish. Look at that. We'll just pop that out of there. How cool is that? Man, I'll tell you, this isn't that complicated. Even on bites that are, that are like this, that can get a little slow and kind of drag on throughout the day, you can catch good high quality fish by putting a bait down there that not only can they see, they can hear and it grabs their attention because of its swimming action. That's another great eye, man. It's been great fish after great fish today. That's a great way to wrap up an awesome day of fishing. Get out of here, buddy.